I'm Big Lou, and this is Big Lou Barbecue, and the things I want to do. And let me tell you what I got going on for you. I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you to GT Barbecue. That's right. Last summer, I did a video where I roasted an onion inspired by another video channel called Townsend's. And I got a comment about the world's best onions from GT Barbecue. And he said he wanted to send me some onions. And I said, sure, you know, thank you. And but he said he had to wait till it was onion season. Well, now it's late November. Time's changed. We've gone back to standard time. I like standard time. It's the way it's supposed to be. Sun's straight up and down at noon. I know a lot of people like that extended daylight at daylight savings time, but I like standard time. But that means it's dark. So I'm under my patio here. But I got this package. Uh, my wife found it. She got home earlier than I did. She said, you got a package? What is it? I said, it's onion. She said, onions? I said, yeah, this fellow in Washington says they grow the world's best onions and he wanted to send me some. So thank you. And hey, if you haven't seen GT Barbecue's channel, go check it out. He's doing some great stuff, man. Saw his video uh, for Halloween a while back. Did some meat feet, meat low feet for Halloween. All right. Anyway, uh, he's got some good stuff going on. So let's go ahead. I've never had onions in the mail before ever. So I'm going to go ahead, open it up with the uh, handy dandy um, pocket knife here. Never cut towards yourself, right? All right. There we go. And here we go. Just like that. Boom. You get to see it when I see it because I've never had onions in the mail. Oh, I got a dish towel too. Look at that. Look at that. Dish towel all the way from the state of Washington. All right, these are some big onions. All right, look, they just, they just wrapped up in a dish towel. Can y'all see that? Four, four onions. Now he says that I need to use these onions, all right? Uh, wrap one in aluminum foil with butter and uh, bake it. I'll be doing that on the grill that's coming up this weekend. Um, so he'll get two videos out of it. I don't know what I can send him in Washington, but um, that's pretty cool. Heck, wonder if he wants his towel back. Ha ha, look at that. Four onions from GT's Barbecue. All right, I got these huge Walla Walla onions, all right, because they're from Walla Walla, Washington. So you gotta go Walla Baby, Walla Baby, Walla Baby, Walla. All right, and so Gary told me, he says, with at least one, just try roasting it or baking it, wrapped in aluminum foil, you skin it and all with butter and a favorite rub. Well, so I'm gonna do all of these that way with different seasonings. With one, I wanna taste the onion. So I'm just gonna use butter and salt. I'm gonna use this pink Himalayan salt. I use this Himalayan salt on Himalayan armadillo. You know, when I find Himalayan on the road, also Andean armadillo. When I find Himalayan on the road, Andy ain't flat yet, you know? Anyway, we're gonna use that pink salt. This one, on another one, I'm gonna use a uh, Cajun Creole seasoning. Uh, this is the Cajun Creole seasoning I make, but it tastes a lot like Tony's because it's Tony's original recipe because I got his original book. Got a video on how to make this. Well, another one, I gotta try it with some tahini. Have you ever tried this stuff on fruit, like watermelon or sour apples? This stuff is good, and I think it'd be good with onions too. So I gotta try some tahini on. It's got some lime and citrus flavor in there. And with the other, I'm gonna use uh, jalapeno Tabasco to so get that jalapeno and onion flavor without using a real jalapeno. I'm gonna use jalapeno and onion, all right? So let me get them uh, cut. This is what I'm gonna do here with them. I'm sorry, got somebody unloading dishwasher in the back. All right, just cut them like this. Cut that, dispose of the outside. You know how to do an onion, all right? So I'm gonna get them all peeled up and ready to go. All right, so I got them all, um, Cut up. I didn't let you see me cut them up because I don't want you to see me cry. You know, that would ruin my reputation on my show. I'm going to put some butter on it and just going to put some of this uh, Himalayan pink salt all over it. You can use, you know, smoked salt, whatever kind of salt you want, I guess. I just want to taste what the onion tastes like with butter and salt. Get a good flavor for the onion. I'm just going to wrap it up just like this. Mash it up in there all on the side and get it, you know, sealed good in some foil like that. All right, let's do the next one right here. Boom. All right, put a slice of butter on it. And what I'm gonna do with it, Cajun Creole seasoning. You know, you could use, you know, Tony's, which this is based off of, because it's his recipe from his original cookbook. I'm just gonna put it all over there and get it, see if it, shake it down. 
let it smooth all in there. Get this one wrapped up. When that butter melts, that stuff will get all over it, all right? Put a lot of it in there because it's a big old onion. All right, next one. Boom, right, right like that. Piece of butter, right like that. All right, tahine. I'm interested to see what this is. I love this stuff on green apples and watermelon. All right, it's got that lime citrusy flavor to it. All right, tahine is a fruit seasoning. And so I think it'd be good on these sweet onions. By the way, we tried these onions. Uh, my wife and I and my son, the little parts that, you know, come off of here that we cut up, tried that. They're really sweet, but they still got a good, strong onion flavor. And uh, they may be right. They may, what these Walla Walla onions may be the best onions ever in the history of onions. All right, so one more. One more. Here we go. Boom. Butter. Jalapeno Tabasco sauce. All right, it's milder than regular stuff. See, it says mild or jalapeno, all right? But this way I can get some jalapeno flavor with this onion, because you know jalapenos and onions go well together. And um, it's got plenty of sodium in it, so I'm not gonna add any more salt. I'm just gonna drip it all over like that and see how this goes. And we're gonna go out to the grill and get the grill thrill on, all right? Now, I don't remember which one is which, and I won't know till I uh, cut it up. Love this cutting board, pork belly woodworks. 1967 Coleman 200. It's getting dark. Got home after work. It's November. Standard time has kicked in. That's right, standard time, the way God wants it to be. That's why they call it standard time. I'm not a Daylight Savings fan guy. Most people are. I'm not. A little spark at night. I don't even have to use my Zippo. Get this going good, okay? Got to turn that little thing in the back. See how that works? Got to love a Coleman 200. And it didn't blow up like Ernest when he went to camp. All right, got the coals ready to go. Most people got a round chimney. I got a square one. Round grill though. I'll just go right in there like that. I'll just smooth them out with the grill grate itself. Get them kind of even. Put that on there. And I don't remember which onion is which, but walla baby, walla baby, walla baby, walla. They all got butter side up, and uh, when they get soft, they'll be done. Excuse me for reaching over you, but there's the lid. Boom. All right, they've been on here for well over an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, soft and mushy, mushy, mushy. Time to get them off of here, take them inside, cut them open, and we're going to taste them. All right, let's get these open. Um, this one kind of bur burst through. I don't know what that has on it, but it's either the tahine or the um, Cajun Creole seasoning. Um, All right. I think it's the tahine. It's the tahine. Tahine is dried lime juice. Now this one is upside down, I guess. See how soft and mushy they are? Wow. Mm. Uh, I don't know. That may just be the salt. I don't know what that one is. It's hot. I think I'm only just... Nope, that's the butter and salt. Look at that. That's got to be the butter and salt. No other color in there. All right. That's... Um, I'm going to see if I can take it out mm. here. It's also the one that is the least mushy. I did turn the um, grill. I turned the grill um, about halfway through the cooking process. They cooked for about an hour and 15 minutes or so. And I did turn the grill completely around. And that one's gotta be the hot sauce one. Or, no, that one, this one must have been the hot sauce one. I don't know. Has that got the jalapeno hot sauce on it? Smell it. Like, they all smell so delicious, I can't smell it. I don't they know. They do smell heavenly. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, it's just falling apart. I wanna save that juice though, cause I may put that on whatever I'm eating. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's uh, cut that just like that right there. Mm. Cut this. Cut this. My wife is right here. She loves onions and those roasted onions I've been doing. Don't mix them up. I'm not. There, we got them here. All right. Cut some petals off of that one. All right. Reach in there with your fingers. You're going to burn your finger. You want a fork. Let's get a fork. I am the camera right. My wife is the camera left. We each got a fork. All right, honey. Which okay. one you want to try um, for? I'm not sure. I think you should 
Taste that and see if it's the tahine. Taste this and see if it's the tahine. Let's find out. Yeah, that's the tahine, and I'm surprised by it. That may actually be my favorite. I haven't tried the others yet, but that may become my favorite. I really like it. I think if that's the tahine, that one may be the, the Cajun Creole. The ca yes. Cajun Creole. All right. You want to try it? Try them. Well. Get, get one with the tahine on it if you want to. I'm more interested in this one. But I don't want a whole big lot. There you go. Thank you. These onions are so sweet. Yes, that's the Tony's. Mm -hmm. And that's a fl flavor we're very familiar with here in the Gulf South. These onions come from the Pacific Northwest, and we're in the Gulf South. All right, question is, is which one of these is just butter and salt, mm. and which one of these is butter and jalapeno Tabasco? We well, don't know. the one with the Tony's is very good. Um, you want to try a tahine one? Yes, but I, I really just want a little tiny piece. That one's kind of the outside, but I'm surprised by how good that one is with the tahine. You're right. It's really good. And if you'll remember, I'm not as fond of the tahine as you are. I love tahine. It's chili powder, the lime stuff, and salt. It's good. All right. I do like Which one do you want to try? Salmon. Which one do you think is the, just the salt and butter, and which one do you think is the jalapeno? Well. Jalapeno Tabasco. Because one had butter and jalapeno Tabasco, the other had just butter and Himalayan salt. I'm going to try it right here. I think that's the only way you're going to know for Right here. Mm. Oh, hot. What do you think? I think that's the butter and the jalapeno Tabasco, and it's really, really good. Mm. The jalapeno... Nope. This one is. Yeah, it's tasting that sweet in the onion. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the Tabasco. Yeah. That one's that's the Tabasco. A, that's the I jalapeno. taste the jalapeno right away. That's the jalapeno onion. Yeah, this one, this one's just salt and, and uh, pepper. I you think can I taste have better taste buds than you. Well, I had to from the center. Well. I can get one from the outside. Mmm, very good. Mr. GT Barbecue, thank you so much. It's a jalapeno one. I will say this. Even with the salt and the butter one, they're all very smooth and sweet. They have a sweetness that just adds to the flavor of whatever you season them with. And I thought Vidalia onions from Georgia were sweet, but these things are delicious. Don't Walla Walla me. onions from the Pacific Northwest. Thank you, sir. Uh, hey. Uh, Gary at GT Barbecue, thank you so much. These were so delicious. My wife's enjoyed them too. Honey, what was your favorite? My favorite was the one with Tony's on it. But that's my favorite seasoning. I gotta tell you, I like the one that's just plain salt, but it's just plain salt. I wanted to taste the onion in it. And I was fooled a little bit, but that jalapeno Tabasco I think is my favorite. And I'm surprised by that tahine. That, that's a close, close second. Um, I was kind of knew what to expect with the other two. But I really like that one with the jalapeno uh, Tabasco on it. But then again, I like spicy stuff. We're going to eat these just like we would eat a baked potato or something like that. Heck, maybe I'll th even throw a baked potato in the microwave and eat that on top of it. Thank you all very much for watching Big Lou Barbecue. And if you haven't seen GT Barbecue's channel, go check him out. Send me these onions and a towel all the way from the Pacific Northwest. And if you're wondering why I didn't just cook these whole like I did in that other onion video... Because they were wrapped up in his bath towel. I don't know where his towel's been. I had to wrap these in aluminum foil. Thanks for watching. Gary, thank you so much. This was an enjoyable cook.